November 2004, and world champions England recorded their sixth successive victory over South Africa and continued their winning pedigree under head coach Andy Robinson. 73,000 were in fine voice at Twickenham, witnessing Charlie Hodgson's masterful display at fly half. Jake White's South Africa looked to bounce back from the previous week's defeat against Ireland, whilst handing a debut to one of the game's most prolific wingers. England now have a chance to build an attack. 15 minutes gone. Forwards first. Thompson to Gummersall. Good ball. Hodgson. Charlie Hodgson. And still. What a moment for the Sail Sharks. Fly half. Gummersall puts in the flat pass. Percy Montgomery will be destroyed. He should have made that tackle. Freer. Van der Vesthazen. Devet Barry's kick into space, but that space covered very quickly by Gummersall. He had to use all his strength Hunter, there. Stay there. Mike Tyndall's Stay. joined the forwards. He now acts as scrum oh, half. Charlie Hodgson, neatly out of trouble to Josh Lucy. Josh Lucy still. Oh, what a searing run. Now he's trying to find the support, which he does. Comes from Tyndall. Hodgson. Kuwait is calling for it on this side. Can England find the width? They keep it tight first of all. Corey goes again. Kuwait is still calling. Henry Paul might have seen him. He has. It's Mark Kuwait. Oh, what a try! England went wide and Twickenham goes wild. Henry Paul stepped into the gap now. And Cueto, he can't wait to let it bounce, he's got to commit himself. That is a finisher special, isn't it? It's a tight spot and Hodgson trying to find some space. He's tackled by Marius Joubert, who flicks the ball back. He's on the wrong side, but it should still be with England, it is. And it's Joe Worsley trying to get his side going again. Use those powerful, strong legs. Corey too. Martin Corey, not for the first time today. Leading England's way, and now Hodgson dropping back for the drop goal, which is a beauty. Popping right back away from the gain line was Hodgson to supply the three points. Uh, that was calm, composed play from England. Martin Corry, he played a staunch role as well, working the legs, keeping England going forward, and then the drop goal. And that is... An excellent performance by the England defence, but now they'll be tested as Jakob van der Vesthuizen goes streaking through, and then he finds his man outside. It's Havana who's come onto the field to score on his debut. So out of nothing, South Africa strike. We were just talking about their lack of try-scoring opportunities, and then flash. They come to life. It's probably too little too late. But Jakob Azevestazen is flat. It's a one-on-one -on -one responsibility and Hodgson misses that one. And then Habana so quick. Even the covering pace of Lucy can't get there. And that's a great moment for a debutant as Jakob Azevestazen looks inside, goes out. It's a good score. One missed tackle, seven points. What a way then to start his international career. The Springboks. Try and work out of a tight spot again in the shape of Maurice Joubert, that's another good run. It's all coming too late from South Africa, though. Picked up by Greenwood, taken on by Corey. Out it goes to Cueto. And again, cries of a late tackle, but what is uh, John Smith meant to do? He had to commit himself there to Mark Cueto, and that is the final whistle. So then, a comprehensive win for England, with Charlie Hodgson notching up 27 points in the 32-16 victory and the first international try of many for one of rugby's most lethal finishers.